Okay, good morning. We are here on our political R. And we've got some big insights here. We're gonna talk about Big Match John over here. See, Big Match John did a little something controversial lately. So, let's see. Okay, apparently Cena is apologizing to China the mainland China the People's Republic of China I assume because of his interview in Taiwan where he said Taiwan is a country so if we look at the some of the issue here we are here here at the CNET website John Cena's of China apology what you need to know so you all know John Cena is a wrestler, so he does scripted things. So the next big thing after doing wrestling, the, the next big scripted thing is acting, like The Rock, right? So he actually si said in a Taiwanese TV station that Taiwan is the first country that can watch F9. So. Fast Furious 9. Why is this a big deal? Why did John Cena apologize? Hint the word country. China doesn't recognize Taiwan as a country. Why do you think it, it goes down? It Why do you think it's that it goes down to their history? So if you look at this. China, Taiwan, Civil War. Civil what? The Chinese Civil War. There, guess who? Guess who are the participants in the Chinese Civil War? Yep, communists and republic. So it's like again, communist versus democracy. And what happened here was the original China mainland is actually Taiwan. And it was led by the Kuomintang, which is like a political party. And they established the Republic of China, which is the which is like a, a the republic that we know, democratic nationalist. And again, because of the growth, because it's the 1920s, the idea of communism is sparking. This led to the division of China between that resulted into the war between the Republic of China and the Communist Party or what we now going to abbreviate the CCP so this war happened from 1927 to 1937 but it was put on hold because Japanese invaded China during World War II so after World War II, they just fought again. And because it's the 40s, this is where communism peaked. The communist CCP actually gained control of mainland China and established it as the People's Republic of China. So we got two Republic of China. The Republic of China ROC and the People's Republic of China PRC 
which is communist mainland China. ROC retreated to the island of Taiwan. Okay. With that, I'm with that saying. Because of this, Taiwan is like a province to mainland China, even though in their belief they are independent to China. And that's, that's the confusing part. So if we actually Google the real, the official name of Taiwan, Guess what's the name? What's the name? Republic of China. See? It just says Republic of China because they are the leftovers of the Kuomintang government that lost in the Chinese Civil War against the communists. Now, people ask, is Taiwan an independent country? It's actually ambiguous. So, in the point of view of Republic of China, Taiwan is already an independent country, but in the point of view of China, Taiwan is part of them and they're just waiting for Taiwan to reconcile with them to be part of mainland China. Take note, Taiwan is not a part of United Nations. We're gonna see this. Taiwan is not a part of the United Nations. It's because UN and China, China has a huge tie to the UN. They won't let Taiwan qualify to be in the UN. Like that. Even though Taiwan has its own sports team, has its own passport. It's a country. It's a country. I mean, being a country is its worst kept secret. Okay, so that's like the background of it. Now we go to Sina. So China doesn't recognize Taiwan as a country, a point that's become an increasing intense issue among its government and citizens in recent years. Yeah, it's like China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. These three, they suck at each other. They try mainland trying to be mainland usurping islands like the one in the Philippines. I don't know. So basically, here's the issue, here's the issue that I have narrated. So it goes back to the 1920s. So China, for its part, has never recognized Taiwan as a country. It has historically promoted a one country, two systems agreement, which would see formally part of China without a major loss of autonomy. So it's like Taiwan is an autonomous region of China. But yeah, it's like a, it's like here in the Philippines where we got Bangsamoro. And it's and we the Philippine Republic consider Bangsamoro as a part of the Philippines while Bangsamoro is an autonomous region. That's how China sees it on their part, even though Taiwan sees themselves as an autonomous nation. This was the same line that used to induce Hong Kong back into the mainland before CCP made the move to undermine the country's democracy. It's an issue that China has taken very seriously. It has blocked Taiwan from the World Health Organization, World Assembly, and has warned international airliners of their chains not to refer Taiwan as a country. Some military heads have warned that a Chinese invasion of Taiwan is a very real possibility. Even though Taiwan's status as a country is like the worst kept secret in all of the world but an interesting part if you google how many countries recognizes taiwan as a country 
There are only 15 states that recognize Taiwan as the ROC because they don't have an official relations with mainland China's capital, which is Beijing. And they are the list. So even the United States doesn't recognize Taiwan as a country. See? U.S. does not support the jury Taiwan independence. But it does support Taiwan being a member of different international organizations. So it's kind of confusing. Kind of confusing. Kind of confusing. Now, let's go to the issue, shall we? Fast and Furious is big business. It's not just China's leadership that is insensitive sensitive to Taiwan's independence or dependence of independence thanks to decades of patriotic education, censorship, and sometimes jingoistic propaganda. Experts tend to agree that parts of China's population have been increasingly nationalistic. Many Chinese citizens think it is an insult when Taiwan is referred to as a country and not part of China. So, yeah. Here's a key center. The key central leader to see this apology that Hollywood in general does big business in China. Actually, Hollywood is like an avid supporter of China. They actually have a Chinese theater in Hollywood. So, if they add spine, they would lose $400 million from the Chinese box office. So that's what is being said. John Cena pandered to China. John Cena pandered for the money. He sold out. Okay. So John Cena speaks Mandarin. Yes, he does been learning to speak Mandarin. When he held the WWE expanded to China, so Cena has over 600k followers on Weibo. Weibo sounds like a Japanese word for Weeb. So Weibo. Please say in Chinese that Taiwan is part of China. Otherwise, you won't accept it. So this is one of the invigorating parts of his apology. Most Chinese people did not accept. Cena's apology. So it's like a loose loose situation here. Unless Cena totally pandered to the CCP, he his apology would not be accepted. So here are uh, tweets. Criticizing seen as apology in nature being discouraged by failure is normal but failure can be toxic learn rise grow never give up was this his uh, was this seen as official tweet i don't know so john cena shouldn't minimize the democracy that is taiwan by using chinese communist party talking points giant taiwan legitimately fears an invasion by the ccp is coming don't doubt the beijing's pressure such gutlessness from John Cena. Amazing. Pathetic. There is a huge collection. Collective action problem here. And I would really like to con see Congress start considering measures to prevent US employers from cracking down on American speech to chase the Chinese market. John Cena's over 600 maker. So this is one is a support by JBL. He supported Cena. He stands what Cena thinks so and he, I guess he thinks Cena is right for apologizing to China so here former wrestler CM Punk made a new bio Taiwan is a country stimulus check okay I think that's the end of the article so thoughts uh pretty sure i sh seen for me from my perspective cena shouldn't have uh, apologized or use the term apology 
one he was in Taiwan he was showing respect to Taiwan so in reality John Cena recognizes Taiwan as a country it just happened that his most of his earnings as a Hollywood star came from China and he fears he would lose such earnings from Fast 9 that he pandered to the Chinese crowd. Look, he even spoke in Mandarin. Actually, he did not he doesn't even need to apologize in Mandarin. He just that just goes to show that how much pandering he did. He apologized in Mandarin. And I believe that there is a bigger fish to fry that was China that Cena should not have apologized because now he's back into a corner where oh your apology isn't accepted we still hate you and now the world hates you at least you have some side of the world siding on you when you said Taiwan is a country which is like the general knowledge the status quo that most people in the world actually believes that Taiwan is a country John that's the status quo it's just that China has been stubborn and refuse to believe such so bottom line is I think John Cena should not have apologized to China he should have kept on his word instead of pandering to the mark to the Chinese market but who knows maybe it's the producers of Fast 9 that goaded him into it because remember it's not this film is a team film it's like there's a production so maybe the producers whoever produced Fast 9 Warner Brothers maybe they go to China into apologizing because they knew they will lose money but I think Cena took it personally that's why he spoke in Mandarin to apologize now, what do you think What's the best part? Leave comment down below and let me know your opinion, your hot take on John Cena apologizing to China, pandering to China. And this has been the political ranting R. Thank you and good morning.